Hey beauties, it's Ribbit. Here I go with another video. How are y'all doing today? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. So beauties, we are here for my Halloween 30 days of makeup and today we are doing a skeleton. I figured since we are bald, it's perfect and let's paint this face white. All right, so my face is painted completely white. I left my eye holes and my nose because we're gonna go in with black. I thought it'd be easier. Right now I'm just taking a paper towel and I'm dabbing out all the streakiness of the white paint that I got from using a brush, just as if you would use a beauty blender and foundation. You can see here that it's really, really working. It took away all of the streaks. It's actually working really well. I just didn't wanna dirty up a beauty blender if that makes any sense. Definitely feeling myself already. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going in with my black paint. So this palette is my Athena palette, by the way. I use this for all of my Halloween looks and face paint uh, makeup looks. Um, so right now I'm just going in um, around the eye and then I will fill it in as well. I'm just trying to get the shape as precise as possible so that way I'll have less cleanup because white and black does not mix well at all. So I'm making sure to get the entire eyelid under the eye as close as possible. Um, since this is made for the face, it doesn't cause burning or any problems like that. I'm also going to do the small part of my nose that is supposed to be black as well. And I'm also going in with that black to go ahead and start the skeleton mouth. So I'm just going outwards from the outer corner of my lip and straight across on both sides doesn't really matter like how good it looks at this moment because we're going to do a lot to it so and we're also just going to create indents around the face so from the middle of the ear down to where we made that line and back up to the same middle of the ear area on both sides and then on the forehead kind of where your temple is you're going to create indents there as well so i'm just kind of doing the outline for that and trying to make them as symmetrical as possible doesn't have to be perfect we can fix it with shading and here start the shading you kind of want to go super heavy handed with the pigment in the front of the indent and as you go towards the middle it's going to kind of fade a bit as well if that makes any sense <laughs> and always remember with these makeup tutorials that there is no wrong way to do this this is just how i'm doing it and here you can see i'm going to change the placement of the jaw because i'm going to lift it because in my brain i feel like the ears should be gone right like skulls don't have ears so i'm going to actually paint the entire ear black all inside all around of course you can see it because we're in front of a white background but hopefully in the pictures it'll kind of blend and make the ear seem not there because um i'm going to paint all of that black to just kind of create shadow basically all right so now i'm going to kind of bring the top of the jaw out a little bit um You'll see how this makes sense once I start filling in the teeth, but this is basically just going to kind of create a whole like two dimensional type thing. It'll make sense once you see the teeth go in, but right now it just, I just added it. <laughs> I don't know how to describe this stuff, hence why making an entire tutorial makes sense. All right, so here, something in my brain said make this black. So this is just the shadow indent of your chin, whatever kind of shape chin you have. Something in my brain told me to make it black, so I did. And I'm also going to darken the inner part of my lip just to give it some life. And we're gonna do the indents. Once again, you go heavy with the pigment in the front of the outline and you're gonna fade to make it look three-dimensional as you go along i also decided to connect the indents so the temple indent to the jaw indent i just decided to just make it all black all right so now i'm going in with the super thin brush and the black paint and i'm going to start the skull teeth 
so you start with a line down the middle because that's how our teeth naturally go and then you're going to just kind of map out where your teeth end and begin basically and I'm going in like a curve direction because that's how our teeth are actually shaped so you want this to look like teeth more than lines on your lip if that makes any sense just 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 kind of watch right When you do the bottom ones, you want them to match but not be exactly the same because, once again, that's how our teeth naturally go. They are not super proportionate. They are not super perfect. So you kind of want to mimic that when you are creating skull teeth as well. Now I'm just going in and adding some creative details i guess you can say just giving some life like life like shadows lines and dimensions to my skull <laughs> all right so this is my favorite part I'm pretty sure I'm just taking a fluffier brush this is something I use for paint only and I'm going in and I'm not only just patting out the streakiness but I'm also fading out that black pigment so it gives it this gradient fade out look very three-dimensional and I'm obsessed with how it's turning out like it's just working way too well for my liking I'm also going in here to just kind of give it like a flatter more even look I also blended out the chin but now I'm going back in with that black paint and giving a very pigmented sharp line in the front of all the indents like I told you you want it to be super black in the front and then gradually fade out and that's how you really get that 3d look that you'd be looking for when it comes to like two-dimensional paint if that makes any sense so that's kind of how you create a uh, illusion basically And here I'm just doing some cleanup. So I'm making sure that everywhere I want black, there will be black. There's no brown peeking through. I also did this in the eye sockets because I had some skin peeking through. So I made sure to fix that. And I'm literally just going in and making sure that all of my details are detailing. <laughs> Then I'm just going in with that fluffy brush again and just softly patting out the edges of that dark black. You don't want to get rid of the dark black again because we just added it in. We just literally want to soften the edge. All right, so now we're going in with our white paint and a bit of a smaller brush and we're going to create some details for the neck. Now, once again, this is for picture purposes. So I'm not showing my neck off that much, but I definitely don't want it to just be blank or brown. I do want it to blend with the entire look. So I'm just going to give a very basic general skeleton look. I'm creating, I think, three neck bones, and it's basically just going to gradually get smaller as we go down the neck, and I'm just going to fill those in. They don't have to be perfect at all because your bones are not perfect at all, so there's no need for you to try and paint a perfect square each time because it's just going to take you time for no reason. So the more you mess them up, the more realistic they're probably going to look, so just remember that. Now I'm just going to follow my collarbone with the white. I'm not going to take the time to try and create an actual collarbone. I'm literally just outlining my collarbone, making it kind of thick so very noticeable. And we're just going to go from there. And now we're going in with the black and I'm basically putting black paint everywhere I did not put white paint and that includes in between the neck bones.
in here i just grabbed a smaller brush to create like curves and more bone like details and then i realized that there is someone coming to my front door while i look like this great it actually turned out to be my brother-in-law and he's actually very used to me doing looks like this so he wasn't that shocked but yeah now i'm just going in and i'm just creating details to make it look more skeletal and less blocky if that makes any sense so now that my neck and my decolletage is done we are going in with that small brush and black and we are creating all kinds of cracks dents divots anything that a skull that has been through some things would have and i'm not following any exact protocol with this i'm just going and eyeballing it and trying to make it look as realistic as possible um yeah just adding random details The best part about doing looks like this is there's no right or wrong way. You're not following a specific character or specific details or like have to make it look exactly the right way because this is just my own creation. This is my idea of what a skull would look like if it was my head. You know what I mean? So it was just a lot of fun creating this and I recommend if you do want to start doing Halloween makeup looks like this. I would start with something simple like a skull or anything freehand so that way it's less pressure. And this is my final look, beauties. I'm obsessed with this skull. This is definitely the best one I've done so far. But give me a second. Let me change the lighting. Oh my god. You can see all of the details. It looks so cool in this lighting. I love it. And if you like it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to put a ribbon on this video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!